Seems like I'd known Jackie Jan Jackson my whole life, but we'd only lived next door to her for two years. We were the same age and both in the third grade, but we went to different schools. Jackie Jan had short blonde hair and went to public school. She was a Baptist. My hair was long and dark and I went to Catholic school. We played together every day and every day we fought. She'd wrap my hair around her fists and wouldn't let go for anything. My daddy got tired of hearing me bawl and told me to beat her good first chance I got. One night I was walking my dog and Jackie was out catching fireflies. She'd ripped their fire out and put it on her wedding ring finger and flashed it around all proud. All the kids did it, except the boys. They'd close their eyes and stick the fire on their eyelids and then walk around waving their hands in front like zombies. That was way more fun than the stupid wedding ring stuff. You better not let that old dog do her business in our yard, Jackie said real mean. She had firefly fire on every finger and wiggled them at me. You better kill yourself some more fireflies, Jackie Jan, because that is about as close as you'll ever get to getting married. You think you know so much, Miss Sander May, just because you got your baby picture up in that pretty baby calendar. My mama says that kind of pretty don't last. Jackie Jan said you'd grow up pretty if you were ugly as a kid. Her mother told her so, and you'd be guaranteed to be a grown-up wallflower if you were a pretty girl. The way she explained it, prettiness and plainness had their own rules, and in Jackie Jan Jackson land, they'd be evened up one way or the other. That's the dumbest thing I ever heard, I said. People don't just go around changing their spots like that. If you was born with spots then you'll die with spots. Jackie Jan had real bad freckles. She huffed and puffed and stuck her fists on her hips, crushing the firefly fire on her knuckles into the fabric of her shorts. You're damned to hell for saying mean things like that, she said. For your information, Miss Queen of the Firefly Killers, Catholics don't go to hell. Confession takes care of all that. She had this real dumb look because she didn't know what confession was, and she wasn't going to give me the satisfaction of asking. My daddy's mama was Baptist, and sometimes I had to go to Mass and Sunday school on the same day. So I knew all about Baptists, with their singing and coloring pictures. They never asked questions in class. They yes ma'am and no sir and kept their clothes neat during snack time. But in Catholic school... Everyone wondered if the nuns had hair underneath their habits or what kind of underwear they wore. The Baptists didn't have martyrs or mutilations or nothing bloody and sad. Even the crucifixion was a plain cross with no Jesus nailed to it. What they did have was a powerful fear of hellfire. Confession is like a get-out-of-jail-free card, I said, so she'd understand. And you Baptists were too ignorant to come up with something so good. So you'll have to settle for hellfire instead. Jackie never could stand anyone knowing more than her. Well, our God is the real one. And yours is just some pretend guy who can't guarantee you anything about heaven or hell. She walked over and kicked my dog, who hadn't even tried to sniff her. Then she marched off toward her house, winging her arms like she'd won. She could yank my hair and make me cry but she sure as heck couldn't kick my dog and tell me I was going to hell in the same breath. Took my dog's metal leash off and whipped it in the air, holding tight to my end. Jackie Jan fell backward and sat up and pulled the chain from around her neck. I went home shaking, sat in my red velour rocker, which was in between my mama and daddy's easy chairs in front of the TV. Mama answered a knock at the door. There were low voices then. Bill? My daddy went to the door. I peed my pants right through the rocker and onto the floor. Sandra May, he called. Jackie Jan had a big red welt around her neck. It was the first time I'd ever seen her cry. Mrs. Jackson stood next to her and her eyes were blazing mad. Sandra May, did you do that to Jackie Jan? My daddy asked. Yes, sir. I'll take care of it, Betty, he said to Mrs. Jackson. He closed the door and put his hand on my shoulder, not mean and hard like I was going to get a spanking, but gentle, 
I think she'll leave you alone now, he said. He sounded sure of himself, kind of like when the priest forgives you in confession. We walked back to our chairs. He never said another word about it. And that is Hellfire of the Vanities. <laughs>